Hello, I'm Dr. Fred Houston, Chief Technical Director for StoneandTilePros.com, and welcome to our interactive Stone and Tile Care Guide. Today we're here at the Stone and Tile School, where the pros train on restoration and repair of stone and tile surfaces. Today we're going to talk about how to remove those difficult stains. Whether you have a stain on your kitchen counter, floor, bathroom tile, the number one rule is to identify the stain. Know what the stain is. And there's many ways to do that. You can look at what was spilt, what was used in that particular area, the color of the stain. Once you know what the stain is, you can then go to a stain chart and look up what you need. Today we're going to remove a coffee stain and what the stain chart says is to use hydrogen peroxide. And we're going to use a method called poulticing. And I'm going to describe to you exactly what a poultice is. Any porous surface such as stone, tile, even concrete, a stain can be removed simply by using a basic poultice. Now in order to understand how these materials stain, you basically have to realize what you're dealing with is nothing more than a sponge. It has pores, it has areas where the stain can get in. The way we remove that stain is we need to somehow reverse the process. And we reverse the process using a technique called poulticing. A poultice is nothing more, and you'll see that in a second, than an absorbent powder that is used to wick out the stain. We're going to show you how the simple process works with everyday household items. So let's get started. Okay, let's show you how to apply the poultice. What we have here is a piece of limestone, and it has a coffee stain in the center of it here. Now, as I had mentioned before, you want to make sure you blot this up first, so you want to take a nice clean rag or a paper towel and kind of blot up any liquid that's there. Once you do that, now you're ready for your poultice. In this case, we're using ordinary flour. Uh, flour you can buy at the grocery store, and we're just putting, oh, maybe a quarter of a cup in here. You can use something like diatomaceous earth, anything that has any kind of absorbency to it. I prefer the flour. Then what we're going to do is we looked on a stain chart, and we figured we needed hydrogen peroxide, and we actually bought an industrial grade peroxide, which you can buy at any beauty supply. So what we're going to basically do is pour the peroxide, pure peroxide, no water, and mix this to a, a consistent kind of like if you were baking a cake. Now if you get it too wet, you can add more flour. If it's not wet enough, you just simply add more peroxide. So you get it into a consistency about a soupy cake batter. And we'll set that aside. And the next thing we're going to do is take the stain area and first wet it. And this is very important. As I had mentioned, this stone is like a sponge. And if we applied this particular poultice on here without it being wet, it's going to want to wick into all of the stone. So what we're doing is wetting, which isolates the stain. We take our poultice and we apply it just like that over the stained area. You want to make sure it's not too thick, not too thin. We want to overlap it, oh, probably about a quarter of an inch or so. Once we've done that, we just take a piece of saran wrap, Okay, we just need a small piece, and any plastic will do, I've even used a, a baggie, and you basically just place it over the stained area. Now if it's a countertop or somewhere you're not going to get a lot of air, you can just let it sit there, but sometimes what I like to do, just so no one disturbs it and it doesn't blow away, is just take some blue contact tape, low contact tape, don't use duct tape, don't use masking tape, and just kind of tape it down. Now one little trick is if you completely seal this plastic off it's going to take forever for it to dry. So what we're going to do is actually just poke a couple little holes in there. You can take a pencil or a pen or even a little a little pin and let this set for an entire 24 hours. So we're going to wait 24 hours. Uh, we're going to go and uh, show you a piece we did yesterday that should be dry by now. And as you can see it's already dry. If you take the plastic off and it's not dry, just take the plastic off and allow it to air dry for a couple of hours. And then basically we'll take something like a sharp razor blade, a plastic putty knife. Try to avoid using anything that's, that's really sharp, like don't use a screwdriver or a, uh, a metal putty knife. Just scrape it up, examine the area, and as you can see here we had a similar stain on this yesterday. The stain is completely gone. Now I wouldn't expect it to be completely gone after only one application. Sometimes one application works, other times you may have to apply this poultice two or three times to remove the stain. 
if the stain doesn't remove at all, in other words, there's no lightening of the stain after the second application, then it's time to call in a pro. And the last thing to do is just clean up all the dry poultice powder. Take your neutral cleaner, spray the area, wipe it down, and it's as simple as that. For more information about this subject and other stone and tile care concerns, visit us online at www.stoneandtilepros.com.